If the Lord open your tongue to speak, don't hide it. We are praising God this weekend. Thank him, even if you don't know how to speak in tongues. Start thanking him, and he will give you the gift of tongues. If you open your tongue to praise him, then the tongue will come. So we have been talking about the power of the Holy Spirit since yesterday. But we are not here just to receive his power. We want to receive the Holy Spirit. Amen. And everyone needs the Holy Spirit. And there is what they say in the church, which is very important. Less credendi, sorry, less orandi, less vivendi, less, less, like less, less credendi, less orandi, less vivendi. The way we believe is the way we pray. It's the way we live. There is so things are going to change. But there is a purification before the change. And make sure you are not caught. You can listen to me and throw it away, but I have done my responsibility. The blood of anyone is not in my hand. I have to say the message. We need to repent. The devil is not happy. His time is very short. He wants to kill as many as possible to have the biggest July fort because his time is over. Jesus is coming. And when Jesus was going, he said, if I do not go, the Holy Spirit will not come. John chapter 15 and 16. When he comes, he will teach you. He will guide you. And he will lead you. And then he came on the day of Pentecost. Since then he has not left. He is the God walking around now. Bringing us to Jesus. And that's why the Bible says, no one can say Jesus is Lord unless the Holy Spirit is in him. Jesus is the way to God. But the Holy Spirit is the way to Jesus. God, he is preparing the church now as a bride for the bridegroom I mean Jesus and very soon Jesus is coming I, I told you the story about the preacher he was coming back after preaching and a young boy only 17 years but was dealing with drug the drug has been running from the father to the grandfather already some people, young ones, the Lord tells me they are not wrong. Don't get me wrong. But they are carrying a yoke, what is called generational sickness. Even in their DNA, it is enabled with drug as a little child. So they are struggling with what they did not know where it came from. So the enablement is easy. Amen. And that is why the Lord says, continue to tell people there is need for generational healing. There is need for healing of the root of their family. Divorce cannot be running in the family. Suicide cannot be running in the family. Something that is running must bring to a stop by the power of the blood of Jesus Christ. So this young boy was dealing with drugs. And then the preacher was coming back after preaching. He stopped, he stopped, stopped driving. Help me now. What I did, what's the problem? Help me. And the preacher came out. The young boy, only 17, said, I am dealing with drugs. Help me. So the, the preacher laid hands upon him and started praying and calling down the Holy Spirit. And this boy, the yokes were breaking, chains were broken. And after three weeks, a woman just, the, the child, the last child got so sick because she had lost one of her children. And then the last one got so sick with so much fever, like 100 degrees. And there was no money for hospital. 
And then he did not come out. Then this young man said, this preacher prayed for me. And I started feeling good. The same faith that he gave me, I lay hands on this child now and pray for you. God is God was there. And he put hands on the little child that was dying. The blood was almost gone because of high fever. And the, the mother was ready to bury another child. And immediately after the prayer, the following day, the boy recovered. And this woman said, what? This happened? I must tell the mayor of the city what has happened. And he carried his little baby and ran to the mayor. This is one part of African history. Look at what has happened. My child was dying and this young man prayed and now he's okay. And the mayor said, go and bring that young man here. Because in Africa, some parts of Africa, the mayor acts like the Lord. Whatever he says happens. <laughs> go and get him here because I have a daughter who has been crippled since birth. He has not left the room. Go and bring the young man here. And they brought the young boy, 17 years. And the mayor said, you pray for this and heal. Now go to that room. See my daughter there. Pray over her. I want her to be healed. And he, he, he went because, you know, what are you going to do? And he laid hands on that young girl, 21 years, as he was praying. And then there were the noise. The bones were coming together, and actually, one of his uh, feet had a kind of, uh, I don't know how to say it, mangled with the, the, the bird. But it's like loosening up, and then he, 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 she started like coming together. You can see the movements, like a cracking bones, like the one we read at the first reading, the dry bones coming together. A sunk, cackle. And before you know it, this girl was walking out. Oh, the mayor said, what? My child? He said the trunk crier. That was what we call the trunk crier. The one who rings the, the bell for everyone. Now call everyone in this city. We have a special gift, a young man in this city. Everyone must come out to hear him. And that boy was preaching for about 70 seven days to 10,000 people, to many people. And there was revival. There was, everyone was coming to the Lord. Amen. Amen. The Holy Spirit comes with power. Not because of your sins, not because of your addictions, and not stop the Holy Spirit. He comes to empower you. And this is why we are here this weekend. And we clap for the Lord. That's how the song rises. And that's why you look at the chapel here, the Virgin Mary Joseph, that's where the song begins at the back. So that's why I'm oriented. Before the Latin church, which is good, the Latin mass, everything is like I'm oriented. Everything looks at the East. Because there is a prophecy that Jesus will return from a totally with the East. So, how is it that, you know, our clock changed today from north to south? Yeah. And when the Virgin Mary came and Guadalupe, she came anti-clockwise, if you look at the tailman. And her time, she came to Fatima and had a miracle of Kansinde. People thought it was a phenomenon, but she did not, not do anything with that effort. That is why everything moving in the direction of the heavenly cause of the sun is God's plan, not against the light. So this millennium that we are entering of era of peace, this chapter here is very significant looking at the sun and the new divine living chapel facing the sun. Everything is going in on towards the light. So if I tell you, that this is going to be a great place for the world. It means it's a, a good stock exchange <laughs> to dedicate your world. So that now we are getting a lot of people coming. Amen. Amen. The five we get from times are from the Freemasons. Oh. 
And I say because wherever they attack it, you know that the Virgin Mary is here. You know they attacked a lot of fighting. Mm-hmm. I wanted to destroy everything. So, but their power has come to an end. Yes. Amen. Amen.